Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This video is my favorite items for the month of August. Now the end of August is here, that means the summer has ended. For a few of you, you go back to school. For most of you, you're going back to work, so it's not really different to your work week. But for me, it means it's my wedding anniversary coming up this Labor Day weekend. And I'm just so blessed and grateful to have him in my life. He's a very patient, caring, and funny husband. And I think like the biggest quality in him is definitely patience. Deal with someone like me who's been starting this whole like YouTube video and makeup obsession and also the patience to deal with a three-year-old going back to school you know like there's a lot of estrogen in this house and for him like he handles it quite well at least to what I see on a daily basis I took out some little goodies so this little white thing here in the back is my wedding dress and it's my first time taking it out since I got married and um I love that dress, I really do. And right here is a picture frame of us walking down the aisle as husband and wife. And this bouquet here in the back is a couple of flowers from um, our centerpiece that I was able to save. So, yeah. On to the video. My first item I'm going to mention for my favorites for the month of August is this BioSilk Smoothing Balm. And I actually mentioned this during my Most Worn Items Summer Edition. And pretty much what it does it just helps smooth out and like tame your hair if it gets frizzy um, throughout the day you can apply this to wet or dry hair and I actually apply this every time I come out of the shower probably a dime size on the palm of my hand and I just work it from my root my roots down to the tip of my hair and I air dry my hair so 20-30 minutes later my hair dries like this like this is the product that helps my hair look like this. <laughs> Next item I'm going to mention is this Origins Vitazing SPF 15 moisturizer. Now a lot of people on YouTube have praised this item. It's a very small um, moisturizer product. It's 1.7 fluid ounces and it's quite pricey I think in my opinion for a moisturizer but what's nice with this is that it um, it, it's an energy booster moisturizer so pretty much it helps like boost up your skin and even your complexion and make you look awake throughout the day now in my videos I have mentioned that I have uneven complexion so I have seen some difference not a dramatic one but I have seen a difference with my face like brightening up in certain areas um, where, where I have dark spots where I do have uneven complexion so um, I really have been liking this so far um, you only apply this in the morning, and I've been using this every day for the month of August, so I like this a lot. Now on to makeup. The first item I'm going to mention is this NYX Shine Killer. Now this little bad boy was pretty popular with the whole when like iMats season started, or at least when I started watching YouTube and iMats was in town in New York City, and... NYX was a brand that I never knew what it was until I went to my local Ulta and I purchased this thing for the first time and it works miracles for people who have oily skin or even those who have like extra shine along their T-zone. I apply this all the time on my shiny spots so like in my T-zone, um, sometimes here underneath my mouth and sometimes like right here along um, my cheekbone. Yeah. Um, and it definitely helps my face look matte all day and oil free as well. Another makeup item is my NARS bronzing powder in the shade Casino. Now I'm wearing this right now and I actually have been wearing this shade all summer. And I really like this a lot because it's definitely, for my skin complexion, it's perfect for, for contouring and for giving me that nice bronze like goddess look for the summer it does have some like shimmer in it or like gold shimmer in it but for casino and for orgasm which I do have as both bronzing powders I actually like this better this is better suited for my face and especially for helping me hide like my acne scars so you can see right here and here as well this really helps just like blending all my makeup and hiding all the imperfections that I have in my face along the hollows of my cheek so I really like casino and when I do apply my bronzer I've been using this real techniques contour brush 
Now this is the only brush I've ever used for a bronzer, so you can, if you have any recommendations for a different brush to try and um, test out, you know, let me know. But so far I've been really liking this brush, in addition to all the Real Technique techniques brushes that I own, which is mostly all of them. Now for the summer I've been wearing, or at least for this month, I've been wearing my Tinted Moisturizer by Bobbi Brown. And... I've been applying it on my face with this e.l.f. foundation brush, which I actually purchased as like a brush set. I think it was a 10-piece or a 12-piece brush set that I got on Hot Look. You can see like with the brush head itself, it's it's like different sizes. So this here is like a little steeper than on this side. So it really helps with different parts of my face when I'm um, applying the foundation. So on here on this side, it's definitely like a enough surface to apply it evenly and then for this shorter side here it helps definitely get into the hard parts like especially around um, my nose and it doesn't leave any streaks it really helps with like the blending I really get enough coverage with it and I really like this brush a lot now my last items I'm going to mention are two mascaras one is from one is from Rimmel Lash Accelerator and the other one is the Bobbi Brown Lash Glamour Extreme Lengthening Mascara now these both are lengthening mascaras. Um, Volumizing mascaras haven't been working for me lately, so I've been switching to these. And these are the two that I've been using the most this month, either separately or together. And right now I'm actually wearing them together. Um, I don't know if you can really see. But my lashes look really defined, and they're really like separated. And I like that with the two, these two um, mascaras that they really help like pull your mascara your pull your eyelashes separately and you can really see it and it makes it seem like they're false lashes so with the Rimmel mascara this is how the brush looks like so it gets a little thicker in the middle and then it tapers off at the end so it really helps with getting like in the inside and also on the outside lashes that are usually hard to get and for the Bobbi Brown mascara, the the brush is just one length, but the bristles are really, really short. That it really helps getting into the root of your lashes and really like pulling them up and lengthening them. In addition to getting your lower lashes as well. So these are my it favorite items for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. And also, I'm going to leave the link to the wedding highlights that my videographer made for our wedding, which I definitely think you guys should look, you should look at. It's really cute. And um, for those who live in the States, I hope you have a great Labor Day weekend. Be safe. And to my husband, I love you so much. Happy one year anniversary. I can't wait to spend many more wedding anniversaries with you in the future.